Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I wanted to pop on with a quick video because I'm really excited to show you the new retainer feature that has been added to your Design Files account. So this one has definitely been uh, a feature that has been requested by a lot of our members. We're really excited that it's now available and today I'm gonna show you exactly how that retainer feature works. So let's go ahead, we'll pop into a project and I'm gonna go straight into the invoice section at the top of that project. Now in the invoice overview page, you're now gonna see that there is a new option where you can go ahead and you can create retainers. So if you wanna collect an amount of cash upfront from your client so that you can put that towards any future invoices for this project, you can go ahead and create your retainer. And when you create your retainer, you'll see that your client's name has already been pulled in if you've already added them to the project. And of course, if you haven't, you can just add a new client and pull them into the project. Here you've got your retainer ID. You can add a uh, description for your retainer. So if you wanna have retainers that are specific to products uh, and another one that's specific to your services, you can break things down. Here we've got our issue date, um, payment terms as well, and some contact information for your client. And down here, we're gonna now add a manual line item. So if I want to add in, well, maybe I'll just take this product retainer again. So you can add in a name for this particular item. You can add any extra notes. So if you want to indicate that this retainer is specifically for products for the master and guest, uh, guest bedroom, you can do that as well. And over here, you can add in the amount that you'd like to collect up front from your client. You can also add any additional notes down here and you can allow your client to accept or to pay for this retainer by credit card at this time and you can push the Stripe fee onto your client if you like. That way they'll be absorbing it instead of you. And very shortly we're going to have it available so that you can also accept ACH payments for your retainers as well. Now when you're ready, you can go ahead and you can send that retainer request off to your client. You'll see that your client has already been added and you can add any new recipients you want. Add in your own subject line, add in your own message, and you can even send a copy to yourself if you like. And go ahead and send that retainer off to your client. Now, when you do send that retainer off to your client, I'm just gonna click Save Draft and Preview so you can see exactly what your client will see. So your retainer will look something like this, except it will be branded to your business. So it'll have your company logo and your company colors here for the button as well. They'll see the product retainer, the amount, and they can click the button right here to pay for that retainer online by credit card. And down here, you're gonna see that the processing fee has already been added to the overall total because I've pushed that on to my client. So that's basically what your client will see. And if they make that payment, then this retainer will then show as paid. Uh, within your account and you will be notified. And I'm just gonna go ahead and save this as a draft right now because if your client chooses not to pay you through the system using a credit card, maybe they prefer to pay you by check or cash or something else, you can always manually record the payment as well. So let's say I'm your client and I paid you a few days later by check and you wanna record that, just come into your retainer here. You'll be able to click on the button with the three dots you can record the payment, put in the amount that I paid. You can even indicate how I paid. You can add any notes and the date I paid on and then record the payment. That way this will now show as paid and now you are ready to use this retainer for any future invoices that you wanna create for this project. So let's jump ahead to that. Let's say we're now ready to create an invoice and we're going to bill the client for a few products. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click the button to create an invoice. That'll take me straight into the invoice template. It's already pulled in my client's name, the invoice ID, the issue date, the terms for payment, and the shipping information for my client. And down here, I can add products from the project, manual line items, or my tracked hours. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a couple of products. Now when I do that, it's gonna open up this panel. It's gonna show me every single item that I've added to this project. And I can narrow that down by design board. And I could also narrow that down to all approved items within that design board. And that will give me a curated list of everything the client has already given me the thumbs up on. So let's go ahead. We're gonna add a couple items here. So I've added in some dining chairs and the dining table. Um, what I'm gonna do next is just select the tax that I'm gonna add to this invoice. If I haven't added any sales tax here, I'll be able to go down to the bottom and just go ahead and add in uh, my specific sales tax. 
and then you can select it from the in uh, from that particular menu. If you need to tax the shipping cost, turn this toggle on and it'll apply the tax to any shipping costs that you've added here. And if that doesn't apply to you, you can just leave it off. And if you want to see um, the shipping cost as a per line item level, then you can turn this toggle on. Or if you just want all your shipping costs to show as one lump sum at the bottom of your invoice down here, then you can keep this toggle turned off. Now you can add any additional notes. And because we're not going to be collecting payment from our client uh, by credit card or by ACH in this case, uh, what we're gonna do instead is we're going to use the retainer. So you'll see over here next to your total, you've got an option to record a payment. And if I click on that, it's gonna open up this panel where I can select how I'm going to make the payment for this particular invoice. And I'm gonna select retainer. So there's the retainer. And now I'm going to use the retainer to pay for the total amount for this invoice. So I'm just going to put in $8,012.77. I can also add a note if I want and I can record the payment. Now that I've recorded the payment for this particular invoice, I can now send the client the paid invoice because They've already covered it since they gave me the 10,000 in the retainer. So if I want, I can just go ahead and send this invoice off to my client. And when they get it, they'll just open it up and this invoice will show as paid. So again, my client's already here. If I want to add any new recipients, I can. I can add in my own subject uh, line, my own message, and I can also send myself a copy and send this invoice off to the client. And if I do that, I'm just going to save this as a draft and preview it. So you'll see what your client will see. They will get an email, it'll have a link in it and a message that says their invoice is ready to review and when they open it up, they'll see that this invoice has been paid. And if they come down here to the payment method, they'll see that I used the retainer to pay for this invoice. Now, if I go back to my design files account uh, in the invoices section and I go back in to review the um, actual retainers, my retainer will now also show me how much is remaining in the balance. So you'll always know exactly how much you have left that you can put towards any future invoices. So there you go. That's how it works. Definitely pop into your design files account. Give your new retainer feature a try. It should make it very quick and easy for you to start collecting those lump sums up, fr up front from your client. And then you can start putting that towards any future invoices as you make your way through your project. And of course, if you have any questions at all, always reach out. We're always happy to help and we definitely want to hear from you and just get a better sense of what you think of these new updates. As always, thanks for watching.